Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church, and today we're back with another recipe that's great for tailgating, bacon-wrapped onion rings. This recipe is delicious and everyone I've made it for loves it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slice up some sweet onion. We're gonna take the big rings off that. We're gonna paint those with sriracha, wrap it in a couple, maybe three pieces of bacon, season it with our favorite barbecue seasoning and smoke them for an hour and a half at 250 degrees. So let's get going on it. Well, this is a recipe you can just make at home. Uh, it's obviously football season. If it's something you wanna tailgate with, then that's something you could do. Um, I'm kind of known as the king of tailgating here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. You know, over 20 years now of season tickets with the Cowboys, this is something we've made a number of times out in the parking lot. And I know you guys will love it. Uh, and like I always say with my recipes, you know, make, take, make it your own, make changes. So I'm gonna take the two outer rings is normally how I do this uh, so that you can make them nice and big. First thing is we're going to paint these with uh, some sriracha sauce. Now this is not too hot, but again, here's a place where you could kind of change it up if you want. You could go no sauce. Uh, you could go with a barbecue sauce, kind of do whatever you want. I like this because it's gonna give us a little sweet heat. So put as much or as little as you want on these. I'm telling you they're not too hot. I always often say this in my videos. I, I know I don't love like hot, hot, hot stuff so this isn't too bad. If you want to kick it up, you know, go with a hot sauce or something like that. But this gives a great flavor depth. We're going to meld a few different flavors here together. Now we're going to grab some bacon. I'm using regular cut bacon, which if you guys follow us regularly, you know that I love regular bacon. Um, it's just easier to use than thick cut bacon. It also cooks better. Um, you don't have to wait as long to thick stuff. And here's what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping this around. And it's generally gonna take about two pieces. Uh, it could take three, which who's gonna be pissed about more bacon? Not me. I've seen people toothpick these. I mean, you can if you want. I try not to mess with that if I don't have to. Looks like on this size onion, two pieces is probably gonna get it done. And if you're doing this at a football game, do this the night before. Nobody wants to be doing this out in the parking lot when you're half sauced up, getting ready to go in and watch your team play. So let's just get these done early. And speaking of sauced up, time for a little ranch rider. So season them with your favorite barbecue rub. I'm going to use Meat Church Honey Hog, which is uh, our first all-purpose rub we ever had. And it's got a little honey powder in for sweetness, but by all means, use whatever rub you love, whatever's near and dear to your heart. But Honey Hog is a winner. Uh, my kid eats this straight out of the bottle. It's in his blood. I think you should do the same. So you wanna let that adhere, you know, 10 minutes, uh, and the seasoning is gonna be, you know, nice and wet and adhered, and it's gonna be time to cook. So today, we're going 250 degrees on a Traeger Timberline. Uh, you could cook this on any type of grill you want. 250 degrees is how I go. You could go a little hotter if you want, but I like 250. It'll take 90 minutes at 250. We're cooking with the limited edition Meat Church pellet. I think this is a cool story. Um, this is like the story of my barbecue life. So uh, I grew up a bunch of time in Alabama on hickory, moved to Texas. Everything is cooked with post oak. So it's a perfect blend of hickory and post oak, which is a nice smoky wood. Uh, which is what I want. Wood's an ingredient, so pair, uh, you know, whatever you're cooking with, um, with the, you know, appropriate wood. So I think this one's great for a lot of things. So, whoop, rip my glove. Let's try that again. All right, let's take a check in. I've got some that have been cooking here for an hour and 20 minutes. So it's time to sauce these. So I have heated up some Traeger Sriracha uh, Sugar Lips, actually. 
and we're gonna glaze these. So this is a part where you could glaze these with you know whatever sauce you want. So remember, I went with a sweet rub, a little bit of sriracha. So I think the sugar lips is gonna be great. And we're just gonna glaze these. They're gonna go back in the grill for like 10 minutes. I'm just trying to set the sauce. I don't want the sauce to run down my face. This is just like making ribs. You know, you don't want them too saucy. So we're just gonna paint these, put them back in for 10 minutes. So we're at 90 minutes total, lock it on. And these suckers are gonna be delicious. They already smell awesome. I think those look pretty good. All right, back in 10 minutes. And I'll see y'all for snack time here in a few minutes. It's been 10 minutes back in the smoke. Woo, shiny like a show car. Those are pretty. I know Alabama's got a lot of rings, but I don't know if any of them are this pretty. I can't wait anymore. Mm. Roll tied to that. Dude. So good. Man, oh, mouthful. Not too hot. Not hot at all, actually. Great flavor with the honey hog, the sriracha, the barbecue sauce. Those are a winner every time. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Share this out to your friends. Check out the rest of our tailgate playlist here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next week.